Morning guys, welcome to Vloggers Day 13, I think this is. Um, I'm not too sure whether this vlog will go by itself or not, as I said on Monday. Um, it may do, to be honest, I might just try and talk at you for the day, because I do prefer them to go up every day, rather than like doing like two days in one. Um, so just my makeup, I'm really a little bit late this morning, because um, I've been editing my vlog this morning, I just thought if I try and edit it while I'm getting ready, I won't have as much pressure when I come home from work. But one thing I want to say, if... I don't know anyone that does it really, that works full time and daily vlogs. But if you know anyone like on YouTube that is works full time, like I mean every day, nine to five, and daily vlogs, daily uploads, not daily vlogs, a weekly vlog, daily uploads. Hats off to you. Seriously, I don't understand how people do it. Um, it's so difficult. Um, just because like with normal videos you can edit them like tonight and they don't go up till like two weeks whereas this you've got to edit upload export everything um in like the space of however many hours when you come home from work um yeah so i've only got two days of work now i've got today and tomorrow and then i'm finished so i'm really looking forward to that i've just i've enjoyed kind of going and getting a bit of money and all that kind of stuff but it's just i'm really looking forward to not working and being able to really focus on youtube because i just really enjoy focusing on youtube and yeah i'm just looking forward to doing that so i'm just gonna dry my hair um because it's all up in here um my vlog is really funny because i'm just branching about piano um so it is making me laugh i have to say that like the end of vlogs i always get a bit like down like i think oh, there's always things that like happen or whatever um and i was like ranting about something at the end of this vlog and i seem really like upset i'm not upset and i'm not being like over dramatic i was just like telling you guys what was on my mind if that makes sense so if i ever seem like i'm being like really depressive i'm not i'm just like before i go to bed i'm just thinking about things um anyway I'm gonna dry my hair and yeah just get ready for work i am um, i'm gonna get my breakfast my shoes are at dad's i couldn't be more annoyed so i'll go there before i go to work which just takes an extra 10 minutes out in the morning so yeah we will see anyway i'll speak to you guys in a little bit Hey guys, so I arrived at work a little bit earlier. Um, I just started checking with you guys um, because there's no point me going in earlier. I might as well just talk to you. Um, I really have been thinking about all of you getting your A-level results this morning. It was literally, it, I'd say it was the best day of my life getting my A-level results. Um, not like going, but I woke up to get in my level results there was no like a wait there was no like nervousness going to school. It was like I got them online. So I knew I'd got any if that makes sense. Um, it was just the best day, like the best feeling getting into uni, it was just amazing. Um, and if things didn't work out, there's so many different options. You know, like me and Bradley had completely different experiences of kind of getting into uni. Um, there's a guy walking past my car. Yeah, hi. Anyway, me and him had completely different experiences of getting into uni. He went through clearing, I didn't. Um, and he still says it was one of the best days after all of the stuff that happened in the morning, if that makes sense. Um, obviously not the morning part. Um, but yeah, I've been thinking of all of you. So yeah, please comment down below to let me know what's going on. Um, I think you would have done that on the last vlog though, because I did mention that on my previous vlog. Um, I've just been listening to the radio and I'm not a radio person. I'm like, hey, get my lead, plug my lead into my car, listen to my music kind of person. Don't really like talking on the radio, just like some music. Um, but I forgot my lead this morning, so I was listening to Radio 1 and they were talking about um, the Bake Off. Now, I don't really watch Bake Off. I really like it when I catch clips of it, but it's not something that I sit down every week to watch. And I wish I would. Um, but like these past two weeks, I've just missed it. So I think I might rewatch it tonight um, and watch Bake Off because I haven't really ever watched it, um, any of the series. So this series, I'm thinking I'm going to watch it and get into it because Cake's great. Um, and I do like it when I watch like the highlights of it. And the celebrity one was great. So yeah, definitely going to watch that. I'm going to go in now uh, because even though I said I was early, it's probably now I'm late. I can't get over that these bits look really light in this, in this light. It's really weird, really strange, like they actually don't look like that in a mirror, but they look like a camera. Great, you guys are going to think my hair's really stripy. Um, anyway, um, people keep telling me to stop touching my hair in vlogs as well. But seriously, you try and vlog your entire day and not touch your hair. You do it and then tell me how difficult it is. It's difficult, uh, especially when you're constantly looking at yourself in the camera. Anyway, I'm going to go, I'll catch up with you guys at lunch, um, and yeah, I'll speak to you in a bit.
guys, so I'm just home from work for lunch. Uh, please excuse my face, I just need to put some powder on, I need to brush my hair. Um, but yeah, I've just got a bowl of tuna. Um, I don't really fancy anything else. I've quite fancied pasta, but no one's at home. And I always say this, because I, ha I only have about like half an hour. By the time I've, because I have, I have an hour, but it takes like 15 minutes to come home, 15 minutes to go back. Um, so I end up with like half an hour at home. By the time I've got back, put pasta like on, like put the tuna in the pasta, I end up with like 15 minutes like to scoff it all down and then actually do some productive stuff um, because I'm trying to like do some vlogging bits and bobs, uploading, like, exporting, that kind of stuff. Um, I swear, literally, YouTube just hates me. It's not YouTube this time, it's iMovie. So I exported the vlog this morning. So yeah, yeah, it's exported. I'll just upload it when I get home. And it's telling me the file is corrupt. So I've had to export it again. Um, so I really, really hope I'm going to be able to upload it and like leave it. And let's just see if it uploads before I leave for work, um, before I leave to go back to work. And then hopefully it'll be uploaded um, for you at a decent time today. But I'm not going to bet on it. Uh, but at least it's edited. At least that's sorted. Um, so at least I don't have to do that when I get home from work. Um, but, yeah, that's what I was saying, really. I've just What I was going to say is that I fancy pasta, but because my mum works in a school, it's A-level results day. So she's got to be in school all day today. Um, so she couldn't be at home to, like, make me my pasta. My brother's not here, and I probably wouldn't ask him anyway. I don't know where he is. Um, and everybody else at work. So, yeah, I couldn't have any pasta today. Poor Jess. Anyway, yeah, I'm just going to watch this. I'm watching Rosie J. Pierce Chit Chat Get Ready With Me Drugstore Edition. Um, so, yeah, that is what I am doing. I really need to brush my hair. It feels really naughty right now. Um, look, you can see. Why does it look like this blonde bit's on camera? It's obviously just the light. Yeah, because it didn't look as bad there. I don't know. You look in an actual mirror, it doesn't look like it. Um, anyway, my arm's hurting. I'm going to get back to eating my tuna and watching some YouTube videos. I'm just walking back to my car and I don't think there's anyone around. I just thought to show you what English summer's like, everyone. Just in case you don't live in this country. Oh god, I know you fell down. But literally, look how disgusting it is. Rain, clouds, horrible, absolutely disgusting. So I hope you can sympathise with us. So apart from the fact that I thought I'd found like a perfect foundation and this foundation's gone all horrible, and my hair's gone away because it's been raining, I'm actually in a really good mood. I had a really good afternoon at work. Um, it's just, it's just, just nice and um, and my vlog has uploaded. It uploaded by itself, so I'm really proud of it. Well done, vlog. You did it. So, vlog is now up. Just can relax. So, I've just come to Mum's to get my bits and bobs. I'll say to Dad's. Oh, the troubles, eh? Three weeks, three weeks, and I won't be doing it anymore. I can't believe in a week's time, like, my friends are going to be here, like, and we're going to go to the festival, like, tomorrow in a week's time. It's so exciting. Um, just doesn't seem like it's like that short way. I haven't got anything. I literally don't have anything. I think I need to, obviously got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday next week. So I'm going to do like a, I'm going to go into like a big boot and get loads of baby wipes and loads of like dry shampoo and loads of stuff like that. But I need, uh, definitely need some alcohol. But we said we were going to go together and get that when they come up on the Thursday. Because I live the furthest south out of the three of us. So I'm going to, I'm like they're coming to me the night before. Um... Yeah, so um, that's really exciting me. And I'm um, on the radio today at work because we have the radio on like, in the office. Um, they were talking, I think we had Kiss on this morning and then we had Capital on. And on one of them, they were talking about giving away V Festival tickets. I'm pretty sure it's Capital. Um, and they just kept talking about V Fest. And I was like, oh, it's so exciting. They were like eight days to go. I was like, oh my God, it is. So that's really exciting. Um, so I can't wait for that. I need to order myself a camping mat. I don't have one of those yet, like the, the roll up mats like, to sleep on. Just because we have airbeds, but I'm not feeling blown up airbeds. And airbeds always deflate and stuff. I just prefer to just have a mat. And as my friend Christina said, when you're drunk, you don't really care where you're going to sleep, do you really? Um, so anyway, I need to sort that out. Also, need to sort a bag to take the stuff in because obviously, not on a brisk suitcase because you're going to be dragging it along grass. But then you don't want to bring like loads of bags. You need a big enough bag. And I can't really think of one that I've got. Um, so, yeah, not too sure what I'm going to do with that. Um, I have just got two, um, a order from two. I was going to say, I've just been sent two dresses. But, yeah, I've just been sent an order um, from a company. Um, what's it called? Hang on, I always forget. Because I get, like, a different amount. Troyes. So, C-H-O-I-E-S. I'll leave the link down below. Um, I will mention these in a haul at some point. I'll try and haul or something. But I'm going to try them on now. I'm going to show you. So you get a sneak peek. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do that now. And show you what they look like. Because I'm really excited to try them on. 
first dress on, but you can see my pants through it because I'm wearing pink pants. So I'm not going to show you the entire dress. Uh, but this is like a top. It's really pretty. I don't really mind you seeing my brown, but not my pants. And then I'm showing, let's try and show you the back. Hang on. Oh, God, this isn't working. Here we go. Remove my hair. There. Can you see it? Right, let's go in the other mirror. I'm awful at this kind of thing. Oh, my God. How do you do this? This is ridiculous. Oh, no. There we go. That's what the back looks like. That open at the back. Anyway, I really like it. I think it's really pretty. Um, I'm going to try on the other one now and hopefully I'll be able to show you the dress because it won't show my pants. <laughs> this is the other dress, but it makes me kind of look a bit big just because it kind of like goes out like this. Like I think it depends on your body shape, to be honest. And um, it's got like, some nice like detailing like down here, like so it just kind of go out. But I don't know, in the camera, it makes me look huge. Okay, maybe now it doesn't look as bad. Um, but yes, it's got like these straps here, and then the straps like criss crisscross over at the back. But because I've got kind of like a brow, obviously it doesn't look right. Um, but yeah, it's really, really pretty, really summery colour. Uh, yeah, I really like this. Hey guys, it's a bit later now. I've had dinner and everything. And please excuse what I look like. I just look, I just don't look great, but I'm just, I'm just living with it. And um, I just need to really edit my uni vlogs. I'm about to do that now. I just had a letter from MMU. Really random, saying, we're delighted that we've now been able to offer you an unconditional place on the course below. It's like business management with placement. They sent me that like three months ago. Bit random, but that's fine. They can offer me another place if they'd like. Um, but the letter is dated 8th of August. And today is the, what is it, 12th? 13th? 13th. So, bit random. Oh my god, I can't go over my makeup, it just looks awful. And also, when you put it on camera, it just looks so much worse. Also, the thing is as well, that if my hair was like dead straight, it would look fine. It's because my hair's got these weird waves in it. Um, I, in this vlog, I'm going to read through your comments on my video. And I am going to do it. I said I was going to do it in another video like a couple of weeks ago. A couple of weeks ago, a couple of vlogs ago. Um, and someone commented like, you never actually showed us the comments. I was like, okay, okay, okay I'm going to do it. And then I was doing it the other day. And then I um, the vlog was too long, so I couldn't add it in. Oh, 20% battery remaining. Great. Anyway, so I am going to read your comments. But first, I'm just going to pop for a wee. <laughs> <laughs> TMI. Um, all of you, you know, I've had some, I really want to say, and I'm, I'm prioritising you guys over my wig, <laughs> that I just want to say, like, seriously, some of you are so, like, all of you are so nice, especially you guys that watch the vlogs. Like, guys, you are all on my main channel are great too. But you guys that watch my vlogs, since I've been doing these vlogs, like, literally, you guys have been amazing. The comments on the vlogs have been amazing. Like, tweets, you guys are like, I feel like you're my friend. I feel like you guys are my friends. Seriously, like, I feel like I'm talking to my friends when I kind of do these vlogs. Um, and I get excited to talk to you guys. And I just can't say how thankful I am that all of you have been so supportive of this vlogger stuff. I've been doing and the vlogs I did previously and all of my videos and you're just amazing absolutely amazing I really feel like I literally have the best subscribers and you're just so nice and I don't know just all the tweets that you send me and all of the comments that you leave and all of the emails that I get and it's just you're just lovely absolutely lovely so I just want to say thank you. Um, I don't know if I say it enough, but I just want to say thank you because I do really appreciate it. And I get all soppy. And it's one thing that really keeps me going. Um, like I said like last night, and I was, I was a bit upset earlier. Not upset, but I just felt like I'm trying to vlog every day, upload every day, edit every day, obviously, the vlogs, to then upload them the next day. Um, I'm then trying to get three main channel videos up like for the next couple of weeks. Um, or at least two anyway, two definitely, three if there is another video that needs to go up. Um, I'm then trying to work full time and then also trying to earn money on other bits and pieces like selling freshers tickets as I said last night. Um, so it's just that thing of like not, I don't know, I just constantly feel like I'm so busy. Oh my god, it's just started chucking it down. Um, there's been like wet weather warnings tonight for like my area. It's gonna be thunderstorms. We could have a cute little thunderstorms vlog, everyone. Uh, <laughs> anyway, back to the thing. Um, yeah, and I can just keep getting a bit like stressed with everything. Like I'm finishing working full time tomorrow, so it'll be absolutely fine. Uh, but this week I felt really stressed with like I've had no free time, but I haven't been upset. I've just been like 
a bit stressed, but I haven't been upset in the slightest because your guys' comments really keep me going. Like, literally, when you lot are like, oh, my God, like, I can't wait for your vlog or, oh, my God, literally, you've helped me through so much. You've helped me through all uni stuff. Um, you know, I'm so excited for this, so excited for that. And it just makes me so happy. So, literally, I just want to say thank you. I couldn't be more thankful. I'm not going to go for this week because I'm bursting. And... <laughs> This is what I mean. Wouldn't say this to people that weren't my friends, would I? Um, and then I am going to edit my vl uh, not vlog, edit my uni haul for tomorrow, which I thought actually coincides really well because it's results day today. Um, and I said it in last yesterday's vlog, but I really hope you guys got what you wanted. And if you didn't, I promise everything will work out for the best. Everything happens for a reason, and I've been telling a few of you that on Twitter today. So please remember, everything happens for a reason. I swear, honestly, it really does. Um. So, yeah, that's one thing I just want to say. But um, I'm going to read through your comments in a second before I edit my uni haul. Priorities. My laptop. Oh, my God. It's making noises, okay? Don't know what's going on with it. It's just making this really weird noise. It had, like, this tapping sound. It sounds like there's an insect inside my laptop. Right, I'm going to, like, put the thing close so you can hear it. But literally, if I can want to punch it. Don't know if you guys heard that, but oh my god, it is driving me up the wall. She's just making a stupid noise. I keep hitting it to see if it was like something that's out of place. So I keep hitting it so it like stops making the noise. So I don't know what's going on with it. And that carries on. <sighs> the laptop is going to be in, a, in the bin. So I've been trying to sort out the internet um in the new house um there was some guys in the house um last year and they've messaged the landlord asking if we want to keep the internet that they had um which is quite a good price but we just need to know what like, the speed of the internet is and stuff like that um so i'm just trying to find out at the moment to see whether we want to get some new internet um, i haven't mentioned it to the girls yet just because i want to um know what he says before I kind of message them because I might as well just tell them everything in one text. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna. He hasn't messaged back yet, so I appreciate it if he did. To be quite honest, I'd like to get it sorted tonight. Because um, the thing is, it's a really good deal. The one he just he that he said that they've got, but if it's really bad upload speed or download speed, or um, there's four of us and we all watch quite a lot of Netflix and that kind of stuff, I upload videos. It needs to be kind of a good speed. If it's rubbish, we don't want it. Um, and uh yeah so we will see I don't, i'm not too sure what's what's going on at the moment but it would make sense for us to just keep the one that he had because then we could just move in and there'd be internet in the house as soon as we moved in so that would kind of make life a little bit easier i don't know we'll see I'm not too sure at the moment um just gotta see what he says um i was cleaning my room but i've given up completely given up <laughs> um yeah i feel like i should start packing for uni soon I really do. I feel like soonish. I need to start like, packing my clothes. I've got like all of my stuff over here on the floor. Don't know if you can see that. Loads of uni stuff from um, my uni haul, which will be going up when you see this. It should be going up like an hour after you see this vlog. Um, so yeah, that's exciting. Um, tomorrow, getting this vlog up tomorrow is going to be really annoying. I'm going to my cousin's tomorrow evening to go out for a meal with um, my two cousins, Olivia and Hannah. Well, I call them Liv and Han. Um, <laughs> it's, like, it's weird when I say Olivia and Hannah, it's just weird. Anyway, going out with Liv and Han um, tomorrow night um, just for like a meal because they're like they're 13 and 16. We're not going out, we're not going out in the town. Um, but yeah, no, we're not 13 and 16. What are you talking about, Jess? They're 13 and 17. Sorry, Han. Um, but yeah, anyway, so we're going to be doing that. Um, but I don't know when, when, when this vlog's going to go up because it's gonna, I'm going to go straight after work. So I'm going to have to try and edit it either before I go to bed tonight or tomorrow morning and like do what I did today. Um, it worked today, to be fair. So maybe it'll work tomorrow. Everyone pray for me. Cross your fingers. Um, whoa. <laughs> your, the vlog, I've got to say, 10% of battery remaining. Great. We'll probably charge my phone. Um, anyway, going to get editing this uni haul. I'm going to wait for a few more comments on my vlog and then I'm going to read the comments to you. So, guys, the stupid noise in my MacBook is still happening. So, let's just like ignore that. And also, what's happening yesterday has happened today. I feel like I keep yawning every two seconds. So, yeah, and sorry about the camera work. It's going to be horrendous. But I thought I'd read my comments to you off yesterday's vlog. So, they're just all here, um, all written down. So, I thought I'd like to start from the bottom because this is like the first comment. So, she said, My hair looks so nice. Thank you very much. I'm much more like 
I was going to say, I much more love it. How bad English is that? I really love it. This colour is like my favourite colour. Um, I don't know. I just thought it was getting really streaky when it was blonde. Like when I was editing my videos, like, I could see like the side of the video that my hair like had a streak in it. Like, I don't know if I can show you here. Um, this is a uni haul that's going up like the same day as like this one today. I don't know if I'm going to be able to show you. Oh, here we go. There was a bit there. There. Like, can you see? Like, it's just streaks. It's just streaky. It's just not cool. Not cool at all. So yeah, I really like it. So thank you very much. I haven't replied to these comments yet because I've only just had a chance to even look at them. So I'll be replying to them in a second. Um, this girl said, I'm not going to say all your names because I'll probably pronounce them wrong because I'm not a very good pronouncer. <laughs> this girl says, I love how motivated you are um, to your channel. Your hard work really comes across in your videos. I was disappointed with CCB and A, but it's warming to me. I feel like it's something even bigger to be revealed. Thank you very much for saying that you can see how motivated I am. Seriously, I love you guys. I love my vlog channel and my main channel and I just, I don't know, I am really committed to YouTube. So thank you very much for being able to see it and thanks to the four people that have thumbsed up this comment. Um, and yeah, yeah, I was really disappointed, but I, I agree with you. I am slightly warm to it. It depends what mood, mood I'm in. Some moods, I get really angry about it, and I'm like, are you actually joking? But then other moods, I'm like, actually, maybe there is something bigger. There was actually a post that someone linked me to on Twitter, which is probably one of you guys, um, and it was like a picture, and it like said a few things about an interview with Marlene King about next series, uh, which kind of gives me an inf like a thing that there is another A. Um, so I'm going to show you guys in a second. Um, I'll get my Twitter rubber and show you the picture. But thank you very much for your comment. It's really, really lovely. It made me smile. Um, Gabby said, your hair looks so good, dark. I wish my hair looked as good as yours. Also, you should have a segment each week called Bed Rants with Jess. Thank you very much for saying my hair looks nice. Um, I'm sure your hair just looks just as good as mine. I never ever think my hair looks good. I'm not a hair person. I just don't really know what I'm doing with it. I kind of just straighten it and leave it. Then it goes all wavy and it looks horrible by the end of the day. Um, so yeah, I'm sure that yours looks just as nice. And I totally agree, that's a really good idea. Segment each week or Bed Rants with Jess, that is a great idea. You can do like a rant of the week. Let me know if you would like that. Um, all of you lot are probably like, no, I want a rant of the day. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, let me know if you'd like that, like a weekly rant video on this channel because I know you guys really like them for some strange reason. Um, then Georgine, Georgina, Georgina, yeah, said, I don't understand in Pretty Little Lies why CC targeted the girls when she was just trying to get back uh, to her family. So why, was she why wouldn't she target Mrs. D or something, or Mr. D or something? Totally agree with you there. The girls don't even do anything to make them hate them. That's what I didn't get, like, she didn't actually explain why she'd done all this stuff to Alison and the, and the girls. It didn't make any sense. She didn't even explain it, so it not make any sense. My hand has now got cramp from holding this camera, and I just really, really shut the camera. Gonna try and get this cramp out of my hand while I'm still trying to hold the camera. Um, I also agree with the Sarah thing, like her character wasn't even relevant to the story before the reveal. It would have been better if someone like Maya was a red coat or someone we knew before. Totally agree with you there. Um, bloody Sarah Harvey's ridiculous. Sorry about the camera work. I'm gonna put the cramped hand back onto the camera now. This comment is so long, uh, but she said, I totally agree with everything you said. The, uh, that, episode, that episode didn't answer all of our questions, to, to be honest. The only good part was when Emily went to Sarah and the ending. Totally agree with that. I find it annoying how Sarah is record and Black Widow. Why wouldn't they be different people? I totally agree with that. They have four, three different characters that they could have made really really good and what the same character is two different people what plus she's only been in like five episodes we barely know anything about her she wasn't angry or scary she should have been frightening the girls totally agree with you there ridiculous cc has probably been in like five episodes too she's not important enough it should have been someone close to the girls because it would have been more shocking totally agree uh we don't know who killed mrs d and marlene king was saying no lie to finding out everything but it was a lie totally agree with that Thorin, it's not a lie t-shirt well it was then she was just basically saying i'm really disappointed the four guys were tortured so should have got to talk to cc it's ridiculous um cc's point for hurting the girls was pointless i agree with that like i don't understand why like it's just stupid um and then oh, i totally forgot here that um Alison was framed for Mona's death. Completely forgot about that. Also, when CC got the button and pressed it to blow it rattling, nothing happened and she said, damn it. That was very pointless to it. Completely agree. She didn't act like A either. I agree with that. She just didn't. She didn't act like A. She should have acted like psycho. Like, you've got to be psycho to be like A. And she didn't even... Oh, it was just so bad. Every time I think about it, I get... I feel like it gets worse. Um, Georgia said, love this vlog. Just got my AS, resu AS results and I got ABB, which I'm so happy with. Well done, Georgia. Um, that's amazing. Thank, <laughs> thank you for letting me know. Um, but yeah, really, really happy for you. Well done. 
Um, and thank you for saying that you love my vlog. Um, Molly said, I'm just, I'm not too bothered about CC being out, but that could be because I've only started watching it since January. I totally agree with everything else. So many unanswered questions. Yeah, it probably is since you've been, because you've only been watching it since January, because I suppose you didn't see CC that long ago, as I said in the vlog, so maybe, maybe that's why. I think we all agree. There's just so many unanswered questions. Um, Shelby said, um, I'm not going to lie, I love this vlog and I haven't even watched PLL. <laughs> Thank you for watching it, Shelby. Uh, don't worry about your vlogs, don't stress, we will watch it whenever we don't mind. Um, I hope you're feeling alright about it. Seriously, I, I said earlier in this vlog, honestly, I'm feeling absolutely fine about, like, YouTube. I love it. I kind of, like, like the pressure almost, like, in a way, in a weird way. I, I guess you kind of know what I mean. I think everybody kind of has a little bit of that in their life. Um, but it's just getting a little bit on top of me. But after tomorrow, it'll be absolutely fine. So, yeah, I am good. Thank you. Um, I have, I have my GCC results next week and I'm so, so scared. I just don't want to fail anything. It's the worst feeling having worked so hard. I just want to pay it off. Uh, love your videos, favourite YouTuber. Thank you very much for that comment. Um, don't worry about GCC results. Seriously, I promise everything will be okay. Everything happens for a reason. Uh, I said this earlier and yeah, please don't stress. Just try, just try and relax. <laughs> um, and thank you for saying that I'm your favourite YouTuber. That is the loveliest comment. Thank you. It's like the best compliment anybody can get on YouTube. Uh, thank you very much. And you always comment on my video and Molly as well. You always comment on my videos. Um, so thank you both of you. Uh, like you're all cute together. Sat next to each other in the comments. Um, I 100% agree with you, everything you said about PLL. I'm so upset that the writers were teen them, the, I'm so upset I hope the writers were teen themselves with the second half of the series. Do I agree with that, 100%. Um, then the last comment, because there's all these comments up here, but it's the same girl, so I'm going to read all of those. But um, I was so disappointed. Plus, why did Reese look so much like Jason? I'm so confused. It ended on a confusing note. We still don't even know what happened to Caleb in full depth. Why full depth? Why was his name on a grave in Mrs. Grimwald's house? And the girl he met on the bus there. But oh, just you don't disappoint disappoint us. We love you. Thank you very much for that. Um, I don't know. You guys just are so nice. Thank you very much. Um, and I don't remember the whole grave in Mrs. Grunwald's house. I don't remember quite a few things though. Uh, but yeah, I agree with you. Caleb is a bit is a bit shady sometimes. And then I've got these comments here, which are all from the same girl. And um, they all say, I found out who A was before I watched it. I was so disappointed, but it was all right. The story could have been better. Uh, I was the same. So many questions. Uh, I totally agree. I think the episode was rushed, but I want to know who, we, Ali, who was after Ali at the time jump. I really don't know who it's going to be. Um, I'm so happy someone understands me, even though lots of people do. And I'm going to watch Revenge, but I love PLL. Revenge is great. You're going to love Revenge. Uh, I'm just going to show you guys what um, what the post was that someone tagged me in so let's go down here it wasn't this one was it no it was not this one um oh where is it where's the post it wasn't 22 hours ago i can tell you that oh here it is right this look tv line what can you tell me about the, this he the girl seems so afraid of? He is not Charlotte or Cece or anyone related to that particular name. It's a different person the girls are coming to warn Alison about. So the next question, could he be the new A in terms of being the show's big big bad? I can't confirm or deny if there's a new A, but yes, he is prospected to be the new show's the show's new baddie. Um, you spent five years building up this big mystery. Do you think you can top it? Yes, there's two final twists and we've got 30 episodes to deliver them. That is, that's interesting. And the last is, will one of those twists be who killed Mrs. De Laurentiis? Yes. So I'm interested about this. This makes me happier about the show. Like, this makes me happier. So hopefully it's made some of you guys happier about the show and maybe we'll stop talking about Pretty Little Liars now because I feel like you guys that don't watch Pretty Little Liars are getting extremely fed up because I would be so fed up uh, but yeah so I feel like that makes us all feel a little bit better about the PLL episode um, I don't know it makes me feel a little bit better anyway um, so yeah that's that Gabby actually tweeted that someone tagged me in it it was Georgina thank you Georgina I wonder if this is the same Georgina that's commented on this video um but yeah so they're the comments from my vlog yesterday i'm just gonna upload my um university uni haul video um i just want to quickly say this girl here 
um, has comment, uh, just tweeted me. She's called Toes on Toast. And I'm going to let you guys know about her. This is her first video. Um, she commented and said that she was going to be vlogging um, her whole university experience, which is so exciting um, and something really cool. And I just thought I'd show you. This is her first video. And it's such good quality. I actually just commented down below. Oh, my God, my hand's got so much cramp. Um, and I said, quality is amazing, what camera are you using? Because seriously, it's so good. I've only watched like the first minute so far, um, but she seems really nice and really like cool and stuff. And I know we all love university halls. So yeah, I thought I'd let you know about her. I'm going to leave um, her link down below. Um, so yeah, really, really cool. Um, I'm probably sure she's probably not going to be appreciating the pose that I've left her, left her in uh, while she's on my vlog. But it's cool. I'm going to leave the link down below for you guys because we know we all love uni halls and look here's my uni hall at the side of hers um anyway i'm gonna go now i'm gonna take my makeup off and get my pjs because it's nearly time for bed because it's what time is it 10 o'clock five past 10 i think it's time for beddy time um i kind of thought it was friday a second ago and then i was like oh it's thursday uh one more day to go and then we're back to vlogging all the time and videos all the time so that's exciting well there hasn't been no vlogs and no videos anyway but i mean all my attention can be on the videos and the vlogs anyway so yeah i will speak to you guys in a little bit so i'm just in bed now guys i've just got my pug t-shirt on um my ears are really ringing i don't really know why i hate it when they do that um, hopefully a good sleep will do me good. Uh, my face is like a burnt tomato. <laughs> I always say it's because of what like, this pink light in my room is like over there. It makes everything look pink. Anyway, so I'm going to go to sleep now. I hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog. I hope it's been long enough for you guys. I think it will have been. Um, so it's from tomorrow, we start having interesting vlogs again. I know you all say that mine are interesting anyway. But there's actually going to be some stuff, stuff going on. Like I can go out for a meal with my cousins and stuff. So that should be exciting for you guys. And you get to see people in my vlogs rather than just me in a car or in a house because I've been at work so yeah that should be really really cool and yeah so I hope you guys have enjoyed this comment down below let me know just stuff let me know what you thought of the vlog or if you have anything to say on anything that I was speaking about or anything I just love reading your guys comments um so yeah hope you guys have enjoyed it um I'll speak to you all tomorrow and I love you all very very much bye